Welcome to 5-Minute German Grammar. Thank you for watching. This presentation will introduce the dative case. You will recall from the presentation on the accusative case that the direct object receives the action of the verb. For example, in the sentence you see here, Ich gebe das Buch, I give the book, the book receives the action of being given. In German, the direct object is expressed through the accusative case. The neuter definite article das is here in the accusative case, indicating that the following noun is the direct object of the sentence. You will also recall that each noun gender, masculine, feminine, neuter, and plural nouns have their own definite article, and that the masculine definite article is the only one that changes as it moves from the nominative to accusative case. You may wish to review the presentations on nominative and accusative cases before continuing with this one. Let's briefly return to the previous slide to introduce the dative case. You will notice that there seems to be some important information missing here. Ich gebe das Buch. I give the book. Well, to whom am I giving the book? Who receives it? And this is where the dative case comes in. The dative case is used in German to indicate the indirect object of the sentence. For example, as you see here, Ich gebe dem Mann das Buch. I give the book to the man. In other words, the dative case basically indicates to whom an action is performed. Another example, Ich zeige dem Mann das Buch. I show the book to the man. There are a few rules governing word order or syntax when you have both a direct and indirect object in a sentence. For the time being, it is important to know that if both objects are preceded by a definite article, the indirect object comes first. We'll cover these rules in more detail in a later presentation. A new case means new definite articles to memorize. The dative definite articles are dame, masculine dative, der, feminine dative, dame, neuter dative, and den, plural dative. You will note that the feminine dative looks exactly like the masculine nominative der, and the plural dative looks exactly like the masculine accusative den. As you continue your study of German, it will become increasingly important to pay close attention to definite articles to avoid confusion. Let's now take a look at some sample sentences. We've already looked at masculine dative earlier in this presentation. Let's take a look at the feminine dative. Ich gebe der Frau das Buch. I give the book to the woman. Note that the feminine dative looks the same as the masculine nominative. And here is the neuter dative. Ich gebe dem Kind das Buch. I give the book to the child. As you see here, the masculine and neuter dative have the same form, dem. The plural dative requires a bit more explanation. In this sentence, ich gebe den Frauen das Buch. I give the book to the women. The plural dative article den looks the same as the masculine accusative. Also note that the plural form of the noun ends in n. This is good since we don't need to do anything else to the noun in this case. This sentence, ich gebe den Kinder das Buch, I give the book to the children, presents us with a problem. If a plural noun is in the dative case and does not end in a n, then we need to add n to the noun, ich gebe den Kindern das Buch. You will need to do this to every plural noun in the dative case that does not end in N. The five-minute German grammar series is produced by David Neville, Associate Professor of German. The video scripts and lecture slides are released under a Creative Commons attribution, non-commercial, share-alike 4.0 international license. Don't be a square. Remix and share.